fish on. Fish on. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. You're joining me on a really interesting one today. I am fishing a mystery river. And what I mean by that is this is a stretch I've never fished before, never really spoken to anyone about it. I've got no idea if there's even gonna be good fishing here. I've joined a fishing club and there must be maybe 50 odd waters they have. And I just picked one, picked one of the rivers. No idea what's really gonna be in here, if anything at all. And the website said that there was chub in here, prolific for chub, but that could have been written a very, very long time ago. So who knows? Really don't know what to expect today. It's going to be quite a lot of exploring, but to be fair, it is a stunning place. So I think regardless of if the fishing's going to be any good or not, we're going to have a good afternoon. So what's also interesting about today is that I am using two different setups. One, my Fish Rig 180 spinning setup, but what is extra interesting today is I am feeder fishing. We've just got that freely running, stopped by a ledger stop down to a tiny little barbless hook here. Again, all this gear is from Jerry's, as is the maggots. Um, great shop for all your coarse fishing needs if you're ever in the Morecambe area, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. As you all know, I'm a lure angler mostly, so come the warmer months, I'll be doing a lot more of that. But for an amateur feeder fisherman, if you've got any tips, leave them in the comments below because this is a first for me. Well, my route down to the first swim looks far from easy. Just gonna have to get stuck in, I think. God, blimey, well, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. Oh, just slid down the mud then, held on with one arm onto this. I think I've just damaged my shoulder. Oh, that hurt. <sighs> Gotta take the risks though, don't you? One arm literally stopped me from falling down a steep slope then. Oh, it's a stroke of good luck that my bag didn't get rolled into the water though. That's my slide mark there. Made the stupid mistake of thinking this slope was something that people sort of regularly came down because it did look a bit worn, but actually I think it's more just the type of soil we're dealing with. Right, here we go, first cast. Let's try over there, I think. It's not looking like this first swim's gonna come to anything, which is a shame because I nearly dislocated my shoulder trying to get down here. Got all that to face on the way back up. But I think a climb up is always better than a climb, a climb down. Plenty of river to go at today. Just really hope we're going to be able to find some fish. What a lovely place this is, to be fair. So far the river doesn't seem quite as full of life as I'd have hoped, but I have only just got going. Beautiful place. Right, first cast ever with a maggot feeder. No idea how this is gonna go. 
hopefully well. So right then, just as I was changing batteries over, I felt a massive knock. I didn't feel it, I saw a huge knock on the rod. Brought it back and my maggots hadn't been touched, but the feeder was empty. So I'm thinking there's something big down there, maybe, that's just taken a big snap at my uh, maggot feeder. No idea what that could be, maybe a big chub. Even a barb or something. Just gonna have a few casts around the area, just on the off chance that there's a, a decent chub I might be able to get a reaction out of. Come on. Well, when I chose to come fishing here today, it's safe to say I didn't expect any scenery quite as dramatic as that. Huge cliff behind me. This is such a stunning little stretch of river. Well, this is a really beautiful little place we've just stumbled across. I'm gonna try to park my feeder right in and amongst all of that. Nope, I'm not. It's just gonna get taken by the current. Let's see if it finds somewhere to settle. There we go, that feels okay. Can't wait to have a few chucks in here. I've just got my feeder out. Then I'm gonna have a little play around with the spinning rod and see if we can't find any chub, I think. Fish on. Oh, it's come off. Didn't quite see what that was, but that was the first fish on of the day. Either a chublet or a trout, that. It's impossible to tell which. But that's the first contact, proper contact with a fish. Oh, I'm pleased about that. It's given me a bit of confidence. Quite a bright day today. Well, that doesn't exactly lend itself to the best fishing. It's definitely nice to be out here. So as I've just said that, as the, as the sun has gone by and the only cloud in the sky. But yeah, no fish on the bank. But this looks like a promising little swim. So I've just got my feeder rod tucked up against all those branches coming down. Hopefully the maggots coming out of there are going to attract the fish from under that to come out. Chub grayling. I don't know. I'd be happy with anything at this point. Well, we're about two hours into the trip and we have not even caught a fish yet. I mean, by now I'd have definitely expected to catch something, even if it was just a tiny little grayling or a roach or something. But maybe it's because of the conditions. Anyway, I'm just going to take a little time out, tuck into my Greg's Plowman sandwich, and then just see where the afternoon takes us, I think. Well, that's nice, a nice staircase to walk down. Actually, maybe not. Oh, nothing quite like a bit of uneven terrain when you're in wellies. Never easy. There's just something about getting down to a mark though that's off the beaten track. First things first, pinch or two of maggots in there. So of this whole little bit I've just walked down to, there's only one real fishable hole that looks like it's got any sort of depth. I've got, oh no, it's just come off. Oh no, I just had a fish on for ages. Just managed to turn the GoPro on and it came off. Oh my days, that is the most frustrating thing ever. That looked like a decent grayling too. I'm so upset about that. I'm not even gonna lie to you about how that happened. That was completely my fault. I wasn't concentrating, in fact, quite the opposite. I was sat here sulking. I was fully sulking, I had a proper sulk on. I've just lost a spinner, I've just lost a Rapala. Driven about an hour and 45 to get here, it'll be the same back. 
and I was just sat sulking thinking it's just going to be one of those days I've had tangle after tangle my GoPro wasn't even on and it took me longer than it normally should to get the GoPro on but once I got it on it just came off oh I missed the bite just missed another bite no no I don't know if that fish felt the hook though I just saw the bite but didn't have it on Please. I really need a fish today. I feel like we are knocking on the door though. Maybe I'll just hold my rod now. Might be able to fish. Fish on! Fish on! That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Oh yes. Come on, don't come off. That does feel like a nice fish. Is it a grayling? It is. It's a big one too. Whoa! Whoa, what a fish! What a fish! It's in the net! Whoa! What an absolute beauty of a thing. So what we've got resting in this net here is my longest ever grayling and it's got a beautiful top fin as well. Maybe not my heaviest, I had a pretty chunky one the other day. But this is by far the most beautiful grayling I've ever caught. The fin on it, just giving it a little bit of an extra rest before we hold up to camera. But I am squatting over the water so if this does flap out my hand then it'll just be straight back off. No bother. Look at that absolute tank of a grayling. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It's so long too. Look at that. Over the moon with this one. Look at you. You absolute stunner of a fish. Look at that. Beautiful thing. So, so happy that fish, swimming off as well. It's always good to see a grayling go back. You do have to pay a bit more attention to your fish care with grayling because they are quite a fragile fish. That involves just giving them a bit extra rest really and don't hold them out of the water for very long if possible. But one thing I hadn't considered is the very silty bottom of this river has just stirred up my swim and I was just starting to get bites here. So I think I'm gonna head upstream and see if we can't catch some more or something else. Who knows? So the setup I'm using today is the Rigged and Ready X5 Adventure using the quiver tip. So this is its bait fishing setup. You can also spin with this. You can also fly fish with this. Spinning actually, you can have different tips for different cast weights, which is really convenient. Everything fits down into this compact case, which also includes a reel, normal reel and a fly reel for the fly fishing setup. You can actually get 10% off these using discount code AFUK10 on the Rigged and Ready website. Right, next cast after that grayling. Hopefully, we found ourselves a bit of a swim where they like to swim. <laughs> but it could have been a one-off. Or all my shouting and screaming could well have sent them miles. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. What a tough day at the office it's been today. There's been a fair few bites we've not quite converted into fish, but it was all worth it, in my opinion, to catch a grayling like that. That was an absolute beauty. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come join the Adventure Fishing UK journey. Plenty of exciting videos planned. Drop a like too, drop a comment as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll catch you down the road.